any second now we're gonna oh oh my god it's so cute <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rixie Craft and I decided that I was going to make the trek back home by myself so you guys didn't have to see all that boring stuff. That was so boring all the way back home. So what I have done was I created this little book that I have in my hand and I think every episode we will do something out of this book. What do you guys think about that idea? Um, let me go ahead and show you the book. This is my things to do book and every episode I want to do mark something off this list okay so as you can see I have things such as hatch a dinosaur find out what mana is because I keep coming across mana things and I don't know what they are um, there's a Twilight Forest mod and we definitely got to check that out one day and you know so I have make a uh, unicorn because we can make we can breed unicorns which is super awesome um, and make a great fairy ring, which I think would be really cool. So I basically am just filling this up with ideas. If you guys have any suggestions of things you want me to do, because you can see the list of the mods down in the description box. So if there is something that you want me to explore, find out, discover, what have you, I will add it to this list. I just need the suggestions in the comments below, so leave those right now, and next episode I will add them and thank you properly, and we will do them. So, on the list, the first thing we have is hatch a dinosaur, and I have been wanting to do that so bad. And last episode, we collected biofossils and some relic scraps, so I'm super excited. I think we are going to go down to our archaeology department or what did I call it before our archaeological office or something like that I can't remember I need to put a sign so I can remember um, what everything is hello all my beautiful animals hello 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 we are just gonna go right into here and today we are going to be spending the day in the archaeology office so excited so first things first we want to make a dinosaur um, to begin making a dinosaur, what you need to do is you need to have biofossils. Um, relic scraps are used to fix things, so we don't need those right now. Um, and we only have two, so we won't be able to fix the broken sword. We need at least ten to fix the broken sword. Um, so we're not going to do that right now. Uh, but we are going to put the fossils into our analyzer and see if we can get any more DNA because that would be super awesome if we get any DNA we can use those to make dinosaurs so we could get absolutely nothing like we just did uh, we could get sand we could get bones we could get bone meal um, but we are hoping for these DNA so this is a clanth I don't even know how to say that. Um, but this is a dinosaur, but it looks like, oh, we got sand. Um, this is a dinosaur, and I believe it's a aquatic dinosaur because it looks like a fish. It might be like an ancient fish. Um, not sure. Oh, got some bone meal. Um, so that would be really cool. Let me see if we already have any of those guys. We do. We have one of those. Oh, my horses are so loud today. Um, and... I did put some of these into the cultivator, and this is what comes out, but I want to show you. Let's see if we can find something that's not aggressive, because Gallimimus, which I think is how you pronounce it, um, is not aggressive, and I really, really want to do that, because guess what? We can ride him. Yes, we can ride the dinosaur, so that's super awesome. So I think we're going to hatch him today, but I want to show you what happens if you put a... Um, a dinosaur DNA into the cultivator and I don't know these guys are kind of aggressive so I don't want to um, spawn him just yet um, I don't know if these are aggressive or not but you know what I think we're gonna do this guy because we just got him this episode so we'll need a book so we can make one of these into a Dinopedia and then put the other one in the cultivator and see what we can get um, so we'll put him, oh, we need to get a bucket of milk, that's right, we need something to fuel, 
the culture vat um, and the best options you could either use biofossils meat fish eggs or a bucket of milk and the bucket of milk is always the best idea let's check this oh it's full we got to get all this junk out so that can keep going let's go get our bucket of milk really quick um, so we can get uh, the cult cult the culture that going um, so we'll just hey hi guys I'm just gonna milk you really quick thank you very much I appreciate where did my milk go did you just see that I didn't click anything my milk just disappeared okay so we're we have milk now I'm just gonna hold this bread because for some reason the milk decided to empty the bucket which was really weird all right go back in here let's see how our analyzers doing oh we got a Spinosaurus DNA awesome also got a whole bunch of crap, but that's okay. Um, all right, so let's put one of these guys and the bucket of milk. And that's going to take a little bit, but I guess in a couple of minutes we will have a dinosaur. So, yeah. All right, so we'll let that sit. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the Spinosaurus in there. Um, let's make the book, which I think I can do in my personal crafting. Yes, so we have a Dinopedia for the fishy thing. So we just gotta wait for the fishy thing. Okay, put our bucket back. Uh, we don't need any of that. Um, yeah, how's this going? Oh, we got an Allosaurus DNA, awesome. So let's put our junk in here and we will put the Allosaurus in here. Let's check on our culture vat. It's only about this far. This is going to take a little bit. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's spawn this guy. I think he is going to be super cool. So the type of egg that it is, all we have to do, all we have to do is just place the egg on the ground. And this little book will tell us about this animal. It's getting dark. I should probably sleep and then we do this in the morning. I also think I should probably make a pen for him. Um, because I don't want him to be able, to, I mean, I want the dinosaurs to be able to roam my island because I know it's just an island and they're not going to leave, but I don't want them to really roam, um, too far. I want the, you know, if I'm going to ride him, I want him to be close by. So I think in the morning I will, while the other dinosaur is processing, I, oh, that was really glitched. I laid in bed and ate a piece of bread at the same time. Okay, that's a new one for me. I've never had that experience um, happen before. That That's kind of weird. Okay, so we're going to go back downstairs. And let me go to my storage room and get some stuff to make a little enclosure. We have 24 fences. Let's make um, some more fences. Uh, grab another stack of that. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot that in this mod, all I need is sticks. Really? I have 11 sticks? That's all the sticks I have, so I have to make sticks. Okay, so I guess I have to make sticks. Let's grab a block of wood. Let's go over to the crafting table, and let's just make a ton of sticks. Oh god, that made two stacks of sticks. Okay. So in this mod, all you have to do is sticks, and you get lots of fence. I think one stack of fence will be fine. Oh, that didn't even make a stack. Um, so wait, how do you make a gate then if it's just sticks for the fence? Maybe I need more blocks? Let me see here. Let me grab another stack, because I definitely need gates. Um, let's see if this works. I can't remember what the gate... Oh, that is a gate. Okay, so let's make two gates and just in case all right and we'll put our sticks and our wood back all right now let's go downstairs let's make a gate or a, uh, a fenced area for our gallimimus what is that over there what was that was it a sheep are my animals keep ex escaping i don't understand why they keep escaping it makes me very sad okay um, where do we want to put our dinosaurs? You know what? I was actually thinking, um, yesterday, this morning, I don't remember, but I was thinking of making a designated, like, Jurassic Park area over here. I think that would be really cool. So, 
let me see. Do I have my axe on me? I do. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out some of this area here. And we will make this area. Where is the actual tree? Oh, there it is. We will make this area the designated dinosaur area. So I'm just going to skip ahead and um, clear this out and then skip ahead so you guys don't have to watch all the boring me chopping down trees. Okay, I think I've cleared out a good section of this. So I am going to now put up the fence. Um, where am I? Oh, there's a thing down there. I don't want the dinosaurs to fall in that. Um, so let's put the fence. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. This is going to be a really weird shaped area for the dinosaurs, but I hope they don't mind. This is just going to be for the Gallimimus for right now, um, because this is going to be a very small little fence area. Oh no, why did I do that? I accidentally broke my, um, my axe when I was doing stuff. So, okay, so here we go. We have a little pen for him. Oh, I kind of need to go in there to put the egg down. Um, oh, but first, you know what? I am going to light this up with some torches really quick. And then I'm going to go check on the culture vats. And uh, sleep really quick because it is getting dark. And we will... Oh, and probably eat something. I should probably eat. I've been so busy working, I forgot that I needed to eat. So, hi Donatello! Hello, Leonardo. Okay, can't run anymore because I need to eat. So let's get into our archaeology den. I, I, give me a name for this place so I could put a, a big sign up here because I have no idea what to call this place. All right, let's check our analyzer. Oh, we got some, we got some uh, pterosaur DNA. So that's awesome. We'll put that in our DNA box. And... Put the junk in here. We don't need the junk. Oh, I only got bone meal out of that. Oh, I did um, accidentally hit a plant and it gave me lettuce, cabbage, and Brussels sprouts. So those are some new veggies that we'll, we'll have to uh, plant a little later. Let's check our... <gasps> Ooh! It gave us an ocean thing. So I guess we just place him in the water so we don't even have to hatch him. We just put him in the water. And then this is his Dinopedia. So that's cool. We have that nice lake right outside. Um, and I think that's going to be awesome. So um, I do need to eat. Let me, I'm going to eat my soup. My soup looks tasty. That looks like something I want to eat right now. That was not filling at all. So I'm going to also have some chicken with my soup. Yum. Oops, I accidentally opened that. Okay, let's go upstairs. Let's sleep really quick. And then let's make some dinosaurs. I can only sleep at night. It is almost night, right? Am I not? It's not night yet, but it's almost night. So anyway, um, yeah, so this is my, my awesome room. Yay, it's so awesome. Okay, can I sleep now? I could have sworn it was becoming night. Am I, like, not paying attention and it's actually, like, the middle of the day? I don't have a clock. Well, that clock is a lie. That clock doesn't tell me real time. Yeah, the sun's setting, I think. That is a sheep up there. There is a sheep just hanging out up there. Okay. Okay. It's sun is setting. I don't know why this is taking so long. Let's keep checking on our analyzer until we can sleep. Get all this junk out of here. So you basically are only going to get um, a few DNA for every couple of biofossils. So it does help to get a ton of biofossils before you start trying to get DNA. Um... Because you're going to get a lot of junk like sand and... Ooh, I got a Tyrannosaurus DNA! <gasps> cool, I think I have one. Maybe? I think I do. I do have one. Now I have two, so I can make a couple. Yay! Alright, still getting junk out of there. Let's put all this junk in here. Um, yeah. Is it night? Okay, it is nighttime now. So let's go sleep. And... In the morning, we will make beautiful dinosaurs. 
Good morning! We are ready to make our dinosaurs today. Let's check our analyzer, grab the junk, put the junk away, and let's go and make a dinosaur. I kind of want to put this in the water, like right now. I think we should do this guy first because we just made him together. We just made him together, so I am super, super excited. Okay, you guys ready for this? You ready? Oh my god, it's huge! Okay, so apparently if I point this at him, is that... Oh, okay, so there is a second page. It doesn't really say how to click it. So this is who he is. Um, Coelacanth. Coelacanth. Hollow spine. He is two meter, 0.2 meters long. Oh, hello! Um, usually found on African coast islands near Australia. Loves tropical climate, so that's, this is perfect for him. Um, they're carnivores, believed to consume squid, eels, small sharks. Known as a living fossil, having survived, similar to the Nautilus, millions of years since extinction of the dinosaurs. That is so awesome. So we're going to have to find squid, eels, small sharks to put in here with him. Squid, eels, and small sharks. So I, I haven't found any shark's teeth yet, or sharks. Hello, Leonardo. Do you want to go on my head? Okay. We haven't found any um, sharks yet in the ocean, so I don't have any shark's teeth to make a fishing net and catch these guys to put them in with that guy. And I need to name him. Somebody give me a name for this beautiful ancient dinosaur fish because it is so adorable and we definitely have to feed him so very cool okay um leonardo you're gonna have to uh hang out there for a bit um oh yes that's right oh i want to rename this so i know which dinosaur it's for unless it just opens oh you have to actually point it at the dinosaur you actually have to be next to the dinosaur okay so let's go make the gallimimus so we can ride him around i am so excited for this one guys so excited um and if I'm not mistaken, um, this is the same dinosaur that is Ducky in um, Land Before Time. I don't remember. I have to look it up. But let's go ahead and place the egg. Now we have to stay here and wait with the egg for when it hatches. Um, it'll give us an option to um, basically tame it is what I read. So we just have to sit here and wait. Oh, he's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. If it is the same dinosaur that Ducky is in Land Before Time, I'm going to name him or her Ducky because I think that's the perfect name. Um, all right. Gallimima status warm. Progress. We're at 20 out of 100. So this is going pretty fast. So that's that's good. That's good. Okay. So we just have to sit here and wait. In the meantime, I do know that you can train them or, or something, something about sticks. So let me grab some sticks so that if I can train him. And I think they like, these are herbivores, these guys. So I wonder if they eat apples and, or not herbivores, omnivores. I'm sorry. I meant to say omnivore. They eat a lot of different things. And they are neutral. They are not aggressive. So these guys are going to be super awesome when they hatch. I only have one, though. I'm going to have to find another egg so I can make extra babies. I'm going to eat this apple while I wait. Oh, that was a delicious apple. All right, how you doing? Oh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby dinosaur. Oh my gosh, we're almost there, guys. 93, 94, 95. Okay, I'm getting out of that, that window so I can see it hatch in front of my beautiful eyes. Any second now, we're gonna... Oh! Oh my god, it's so cute! Do you like apples? Do you like apple? Oh my gosh, you guys! It is so adorable! Okay, so can I... Oh, stay. How do I... I don't want to hit him on accident. How do I make him move? I've made him stay, but how do I... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's check this. Oh, these are all the different foods that'll eat, I guess. Melon seeds, regular seeds, potatoes, bread. Oh, I have bread. Um, 
to order it, I order it with a stick and it is mine, so that's why my name is there. Oh, it's hungry. We gotta feed him. We gotta feed him. So I have bread. Let's give him some bread. And uh, that should help his his health here. You want some? Oh, you love bread. Let's check your health now. Oh, almost high enough. How about now? Okay, one more bread. Yay! So apparently I can do something with the stick, but every time I click him, it says stay. I don't know why it's not letting me do something else with him. I do have to wait till he's full grown before I can ride him, so there's that. Um, Gallimimus, we're omnivores feeding on aquatic invertebrates, insects, and plants. So that's why they will eat the bread, because that's made from wheat, and wheat is a plant. Um, they're from Asia, originally, and I, ornithomimids, it's, it's a, it is distinct from other ornithomimids, I can't even pronounce that, with its exceptionally elongated skull, oh my god, it's so cute, I love him, okay, so he doesn't like apples, but he does like seeds, I don't have any seeds, you are so adorable, I want to name you Ducky, I don't care if you're not, Okay, so you can follow me now. You can follow me now. Come here. Come here. Are you going to follow me? You are so cute. Okay. Free move. Okay, now you're on free move, so you can go all over your pen, which is awesome. We will come back to you because you need to grow up. I think it takes like 10 Minecraft days for them to grow up to full size and then we'll be able to ride them so we we'll might have to do that in the next episode because we are drawing very close to the end of this episode um but let's just double check on our analyzer we did get one more stegosaurus dna we have four more biofossils left to go and then we will end this episode so now we have two stegosaurus dna so we can make stegosaurus awesome so excited. All right, I wish there was a, is there a way to rename these Dinopedias so I know which animals they go to? Because I can't open them if I'm not pointing them at a dinosaur or at their uh, respective animal. All right, so the last DNA is going, or the last uh, biofossil is going through and we will see what we get and it's just junk. So those were all the dinosaurs we got this time, guys. I'm so excited. We got quite a few. So I was really excited to be able to show you how that works, um, as well as the culture vat. Uh, so glad we didn't get a failure, failure saurus, because that is a possibility um, that it just absolutely fails and we get a failure saurus. I don't know what this Dinopedia goes to, so that's why that's over there in the corner. Um, this goes to that fish, and this goes to the Gallimimus, which I'm going to name Ducky. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead, and we do have a minute or so. Let's just run upstairs, see if I have any name tags, and we will name Ducky. Um, and then somebody in the comments, please give me a name for the fish, I think... Um, I would like one of you guys to name the fish for me. I would love to have that in my world. Uh, what was I coming up here for? I just had a brain fart. Why was I coming up here? I was doing... Oh, name tags. Duh. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any name tags? Oh, I do. I have two. So I will be able to... Oh, I don't think I have enough levels to name. Can I change the name on this? Can I just do that, please? It's going to cost me five enchantments to change it fish oh I can't name change the names of these books okay so we'll just leave that how many enchant how many is it gonna it's gonna cost me five to name ducky oh I don't have enough things so I guess we'll just have to do that um, I'll do that off camera I'll just go uh, mining or something really quick and get some levels and then next episode I will name the dinosaurs so Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any suggestions or ideas for the next, um, you know, for a next episode, please leave it in the comments below because I would really appreciate that. What did I just do? I think I just whacked something with the stick. 
Okay. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I love reading your comments, so don't forget to comment. And if you really enjoy this series, please give it a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And it does let me know that you want to see more Rixie Craft. Thank you again so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.